And we're back, guys. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Was working on prediction videos. And, um, well, it looked like I dozed off there. So, had most of those winners on the matches right now. But let's see what we got coming up. Diane Perry, Mira, and Dreva. We're going to take Diane Perry to win at least one set. That's the pick there. She might even upset Mira outright. For her to win a set is uh, good money, even value. Who's next? Alex and Drova taking on Friedson. Friedson's a good shot maker. Um, she's going to push Alex and Drova, but we'll take Alex and Drova to win this match on the money line. Rebecca Peterson versus Wong. That's going to be a competitive match. If Wong doesn't win it outright, she's definitely going to cover some type of spread so we'll take we'll take the first set to go over eight and a half that's going to be very competitive Wong's a good baseliner Rebecca Peterson's going to have to she's going to have to give Wong short balls if she wants to have success there and Elizabeta versus Samantha Walter listen I don't think Elizabeta should be a four to one favorite I think that's way I just think she's overvalued. I think Simona Walter, she's a pretty decent clay player from Switzerland. I just don't see Elizabeth being that. I just don't see her being a 4-1 to one favorite, to be honest with you. Uh, Simona Walter, she's going to win some games, to be honest with you. And she might even win this match outright. We'll take the uh, second set to go over eight and a half games. Bernardo Pera versus Donna Vekic. This is going to be a battle. This is going to be a really, really good battle, to be honest with you. And uh, I could see I could see Para beating Vekic outright. Crafty lefty. Uh, she's going to do her specialty. She's going to try and pin down a Vekic deep in the corner with her left rockets. Uh, Para loves to use her angles. And um, coming the opposite way is going to put a lot of pressure on Donna Vekic to hit long balls. Uh, we're going to take the first set to go over eight and a half. Iga Sviantek versus Claire Liu. Uh, why does Iga have to play one of my favorite upcoming American players? There's no value in this match. Iga's, who? there's just no value to be honest with you. There's no value in this match whatsoever. Uh, Iga Sviantek, good pattern play. Uh, after giving Buxa a bagel in the second set. Last time she played Claire Lou, it didn't go well, to be honest with you. Uh, so since Ega is such a huge favorite, Claire Lou is getting, um, she's getting a lot of free games. So look, we'll take Claire Lou. Uh, we'll take the first set to go Ray and Av. What's next? We got Jasmine Pellini uh, versus uh, Olga. I think uh, Pellini can win this match outright. I really do. So what we'll do is uh, we'll take Jasmine, Polini, and Olga to go uh, over nine and a half games on the first set. Julia grabbed her versus Coco Golf. We'll go with Coco Golf for the victory there. Straightforward, right? Ocean Don versus Anjabor. I mean, Anjabor looks so good, to be honest with you. We'll go with Anjabor to win the first set. Bianca and Dressu versus Emma Navarro. That's going to be a good match. Uh, Emma, she struggled last time out, to be honest with you, against Erica and Dreva. And um, if Bianca's not careful, she could lose this match. But we're going to take Bianca to win this match on the money line. Lauren Davis versus Serenko. And um, that's going to be a good match as well, to be honest with you. I can't wait to see that match. Uh, I think that match is going over. We'll take the first set over eight and a half. Those are the picks, guys. They're a little rushed. I, I had a more in-depth video with some better picks, but I I dozed off, couldn't get it done. So this is a rush uh, video here, but more conservative. We'll see you soon. Ten to in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Let's get back to some matches, guys. We have Elena Rabikina in action now. Oh, my goodness. I'm missing that match.